now about the imaginary numbers basically what are the imaginary numbers now before going for the imaginary number let us discuss something about the complex number now in class 10th we have gone through the quadratic equations and in the quadratic equation and before that we went to we went for a real numbers also real equations also so now the real numbers basically what we are looking that these were the not sufficient to meet the demand of the civilization for the mathematicians now <coughs> the demand for the civilization was in general it was for the civilization and in particular it was for the mathematicians now basically what it means it means that if we are having suppose it is written x square plus 1 is equal to 0 then what the result is what the result is for this number so at that time they were having no result so what we have done now in class 10 we are having in the to just solve a quadratic formula we have to go for the discriminant that is b square minus 4ac and if we have to comment upon the nature of the roots then what we were doing if we are getting discriminant as negative number then we were writing the given equation has a no solution but now in class 11th we are having some solutions for it so in class 11th we have introduced some real numbers some imaginary numbers okay real and imaginary both but now we are discussing only about the imaginary number now basically what it was now <clears throat> some 400 years ago mathematicians feel the necessity for solving a negative square root for a negative number so basically if we are having x square plus 1 is equal to 0 and we are writing x square is equal to negative of 1 then can't we get any answer for this part we can get it we can get it and that was thought from 400 years ago by different mathematicians by many many mathematicians step by step they just gave some results some results some results some results and then they got to for the final conclusion now <coughs> the necessary and the main definition for the real number was if it is given that i square plus 1 is equal to 0 is it clear then now why i because i have just mentioned in the context that we are i am just going to give you i now right now i am going pronouncing it i okay and this was what why i because this was the imaginary number okay this i this was the imaginary number now they just gave i square is equal to minus 1 now what can we do for it now <clears throat> the definition for this imaginary number for this imaginary number what it was it was given that if we are having square root of a minus a negative of a then what we can write it we can write it this one as a cross negative of 1 1 and the same thing then to this what we can write it times like this and for this part from where we are getting we are getting from this part from here so from here what it is we can write it i square is equal to negative of 1 then i is equal to 1 like this one is it okay so now comparing this one this part and this part now what we are getting we got it negative of square root of the negative of a number a that can be written as i with square root of a where a is a positive number now why a is a positive number basically what it was that we can't find a square root of a negative exponent negative number is it clear so that's why and another type of a number was introduced that was called imaginary number denoted with small i is it clear now what it is pronounced that we are going to discuss on the later on <coughs>